Hey everybody, this is my 20 gallon open topped office tank and today we are going to start a new experiment in this tank. I have three aquariums that just never really seem to develop nitrate and I have yet to figure out exactly why those tanks don't really develop nitrate. The chief suspect is going to be the deep substrate I have in some of those tanks. But this tank actually has a fairly deep substrate too. It's not as deep as you would think of a true deep substrate tank. But it's got really fine sand in it. And it should, after all this time, be having some sort of effect on uh, denitrifying this tank if it was ever going to. And yet this is one of my tanks that consistently shows plenty of nitrate in it so if we give this test about a minute to develop you will see that it gets a very dark pink little square on the end there and it correlates almost with the 80 parts per million indicator that is on the side of the bottle it's not quite as dark as the 80 parts per million but it's pretty close and so this tank is definitely one that always has pretty consistently high nitrates in it despite doing normal regular water changes on it so what we're going to do today is we are going to find out if the legendary pothos plant is as magical as a lot of people seem to make out i've had countless people over the years tell me all you got to do is put a pothos plant on your tank it'll grow like crazy it'll soak those nitrates right out of your tank and you'll have a nitrate free aquarium now, it is true that Pothos plant does grow very fast. It is also true that the faster a plant grows, the more nutrients and food it's absorbing out of your water. And a Pothos plant is a great way to reduce the amount of uh, nitrate you've got in your tank and, and phosphate and you know other organics that the plant is using for food. But they don't just make it all go away, and they don't do it overnight. It's not just magical the way some people seem to think that if you just put a pothos plant in your tank you just won't have nitrate so today is going to begin a new era of growing pothos in my office tank i'm not really sure what's going to happen with my temple plant here but that was always a big vigorous growing plant before i butchered it and yet despite as vigorous growing as that was i always consistently had high nitrate in here so i can't imagine how the pothos plant is going to make a huge amount of difference either uh, what we are going to do is really we're going to let it grow i'm not going to keep trimming it back i'm going to probably wind up constructing uh, some sort of framework or trellis type situation where we can let the pothos plant sort of grow up and around so the light will still come down in the middle and we're not going to be blocking a lot of light out of the tank but the pothos plant will also be creating sort of a tunnel uh, that the light will be shining through so the pothos itself will get plenty of light they don't need a lot of light but if you give them plenty of light and you give them plenty of nutrients they will grow really fast and that's what you want a uh, plant is not going to pull nutrients out of the tank any faster than it's growing so if you're somebody that has something like that you know an anubius that puts out two new leaves per year that's not doing very much for pulling nutrients out of your tank my Java Windelov here, that's a slightly faster growing plant, but still, I've never really had a reduction of nitrate in this tank, even with this now butchered temple plant growing. So let's wait and see how this pothos plant grows. The way I've got it set in here, I can do a quick little how-to video on this. Uh, it's in its planter that I purchased it in. I took some uh, gravel that I collected from a local stream. You can see that. I sort of topped it off. Maybe that top inch or so uh, is gravel. Below that is whatever medium uh, it came from in the store. I'm just using that as a medium. The roots are going to grow right on out the bottom and probably up and over the top. And then I just took a piece of garden wire, wrapped it around, did sort of the twisty tie, and created a little hook and that's it it's just hanging over the back it's as simple as that that black container makes it very discreet you barely notice it back there when you're looking in the tank so it's not a real visual distraction 
and it keeps it up high out of the tank and that allows the fish to swim around underneath of it it gives the fish a little more overhead security without taking up a lot of real estate and floor space on the tank so hanging the plants uh, in the little planters like that has always been a way I've done this so there you go we're going to see what happens with pothos plant growing in my office tank thanks for watching make sure you're subscribed don't forget i do accept memberships now i do accept super thanks that's always appreciated and i do have another channel dan's outdoors and more if you want to check that out there's a link down below so thanks again for watching this one make sure you're subscribed i'll see you real soon in the next one